no secret that I love trash TV. If you've looked at my channel for really even half a second, you know? There's a saying that one man's trash is another man's treasure, and I think that there's no group of people that will show us that more than the ones we're gonna review today. Let's see if we can turn trash TV into educational content. If you wanna learn how to have a good jump shot, you go to Steph Curry. A good golf swing, Tiger Woods. But if you wanna learn how to put your family's well-being and their physical and mental health in jeopardy, all while saving a buck, you go to the freaking cheapskates. So we're gonna be watching the cheapskates today, and instead of just watching and making fun of them, which we're also, you know, gonna, we're gonna do that. We're also gonna learn. People love learning, you know? People, they're always saying, I wish there was more school. <laughs> so what we're gonna learn is how to become a millionaire. I'm too lazy to, to write the whole thing out, so you're gonna have to just know that hit bam is how to become a millionaire. So we're gonna review some clips and then see what we can take away from it. Instead of going to gyms, I just go to these sporting goods stores for about 45 minutes a day. All right. Going to a gym, paying for a membership. I mean, that's like $75 a month. I see Jenny probably two times a week. After six or seven visits, I realized that Jenny wasn't here to demo the equipment. My habits may be extreme to some people, but I show it off to everybody, whatever it is. It makes me happy. Somebody's gonna buy that piece of machinery, that little exercise bike, and it's gonna have 43,000 kilometers on it. And yeah, it's weird. She's got no shame. It's kind of beautiful in a weird way. She's very confident. This is kind of the guy who's working there as full. How do you think that she's demoing it when she's been there six or seven times? For 45 minute intervals. How did it take how does it take you that long to catch on, my guy? I say take it a step further. Get a team together. Start a little league baseball. Well, is that what they call it? I don't know. Start a baseball team. Start just just play in the store. They got bats, they got ball, they got everything that you need there. Have a full game of pickup basketball. You know, just ten dudes <laughs> running around the store. Some football, you're just tackling customers. I guess the first lesson here is have no shame. Don't be embarrassed. You know, a lot of people have trouble going to the gym as it is because it's filled with uh, active people. Maybe they're in better shape. They're in a different part of their progress than you. But what she's teaching us here is really, I guess, don't have um, social standards for yourself. <laughs> oh, boy. It can cost $60, $70 to fill up a tank. And then you go home and park your car in the garage and you may not go nowhere. So you just spent $60 to sit. I don't think she understands how cars work because um, you're not you're not spending money for your car to sit. I mean, it's obvious, right? I shouldn't have to say this. Gas make car go. So. Hey, can I get $3.36 worth of gas? You sure can. When I get gas, I only get a gallon at a time. One gallon of gas, one gallon a day, saves me money. Restricts where I go. Yeah, this is all fun and games until her fuel pump gives out because it's, you know, constantly running dry. And then you spend like hundreds of dollars, if not thousands, to repair the car. Isn't it even less expensive if you just bought a bike and then you just rode it instead of driving to the place where you ride the stationary bike? you're really trying to save money here. I don't, I don't know that driving every day to go ride a stationary bike makes the most sense. The real way to not spend as much on gas is to just not drive as often. You know, that seems, I shouldn't even, that seems clear. <laughs> I'm doing my laundry in the pool because the chemicals that are in the pool are similar to the ones that are found in laundry detergent. All right, I don't know enough about laundry detergent to like call this one out or not, but I do know that it grosses me out. That you're just swimming around in your dirty filth that you washed off of your clothes. But I mean, to each their own. I wouldn't be surprised if this is where they bathe as well because I mean, they're gonna get as much use out of that pool as they possibly can. Also, they have a pool, they have a big house. <laughs> I swear to God that this is just some weird game for them because they never do the obvious things. They always do the things that are just the most ridiculous and usually the most disgusting. But hey, we got another tip, guys. Let's go ahead and write this one down. So tip number two is uh, have a pool. 
so that you can do your laundry in it and or bathe. Screw it. Wash your dishes in there. Do it. Just do it all. <laughs> Instead of using regular pool cleaners to clean our pool, we use baking soda. Borax incre increases the pH in the pool. Man, there's something terrifying about the image of her dumping borax in the pool that her kids are currently swimming in. Um, that doesn't seem <laughs> incredibly safe and is honestly horrifying. I really feel bad for a lot of the families of, and like the children and the spouses of the people that do this crazy shit because you can't just pour borax <laughs> in a pool that your kids are currently swimming in. I'm pretty sure the EU has like banned borax on claims that it impacts the reproductive health. Nonetheless, we have ourselves another tip, and that is our third tip today. Go ahead and poison your family. Tired of paying for pesky school supplies and enough food to feed your children? Hey, slowly kill them <laughs> and uh, save that money, baby. Paying for university can be expensive. I recommend killing your children. Hey, paying for university and school supplies and enough food to feed your children can get pretty expensive. That's why we here recommend that you just poison your family. Let's move on to our next uh, cheapskate. This one actually is a millionaire. So, hey, you know, this is gonna be straight from the horse's mouth. So this is my family room, and again, this is not the fanciest furniture, but for a family room, it's nice furniture. They were a free gift about 30 years ago. You can't kill these things. You can dance on them. She's spilling out of her friggin' sandals. Look, I don't want to body shame, but what the, what, but, <laughs> uh, That's so mean, I feel kind of bad. But like, look, they're really displaying them. This isn't my fault. We were all thinking it. She's got the feet of Roger from American Dad. <laughs> look at that. Look at that big toe. It's longer than my damn middle finger, I swear. Wonderful lady, though, I'm, sh I'm sure. I came to her house. She asked me, did I want lunch? So I said, sure. She fixed me a tuna fish sandwich. As I'm eating the sandwich, I'm thinking, this is a little fishy. No fucking way, dude. There's no way, right, that we'll... She didn't get... No. What is this? Mike, lunch is ready. And then I looked on the countertop and I noticed there were cat food cans that were empty. And I thought, no. Oh my God, that is disgusting. <laughs> There's no way that the people that make cat food are held to the same standards as the people who make human food. And <laughs> There's no way, man. Here, maybe some tuna fish. Oh, great. No, I don't think Amy has actually ever fed anyone cat food, but uh, I wouldn't put it past her to try. Cat had a cone on it. I don't see her paying for surgery. She probably, probably did it herself. <laughs> ah, poor kitty. Tuna fish for people, 89 cents. Cat food for cats, 59 cents. Mm. I just saved 30 cents. Oh my God. That is horrendous. This lady, remember, she's a millionaire, right? She can afford regular cans of tuna. I mean, what are we doing here? That was horrifying, but it's a tip. Fourth tip is eat cat food. Dog food also will do fine, right? It could really probably be either or, but that's our tip, eat cat food. And actually I'm gonna go ahead and underline poison family because I'm pretty sure that that is sort of emphasized in this clip as well. In the Roberts family, saving money means more than careful budget tracking. All right, see, this is fitting the same theme. Look at this guy's friggin' house, man. This guy has a mansion. That is a big ass house. It doesn't make any sense. They're saving money in the most abstract ways, but their property tax is probably through the roof. Maybe he lives somewhere where it's really cheap, but where I live, a house like that, you gotta be wealthy, my guy. So I guess we'll add that as well. He didn't even say anything yet. This guy's prolific in saving money. So our fifth tip, have a mansion. I haven't exactly figured out why that's a tip yet, but it seems to be a, like a trend that I'm noticing. So, boom. It's kind of like reverse engineering. If you want to be a millionaire, you get a mansion first. Okay, 
It just seemed like such a waste to only use mouthwash once when it's antiseptic anyways. There's 30 uses in that big mouthwash and about 30 cents a use. But if I reuse it a second time, that gets it down to 15 cents a use because I'll have 60 uses. Oh my God, you animal, you absolute piggy. What are you doing, man? What are we doing here? You filthy, filthy man. <laughs> I just keep two bottles, one with the brand new stuff and one with the once used stuff. This one though is Christina's mouthwash because she doesn't like to do what I do, but I think it's great. He's like, plus it's pretty nice because uh, on the second use, you get little chunks of food, and that's like a second meal. So, boop, boop, here comes the savings train. So I guess that's a tip, and we're gonna say that that's actually especially a useful tip after you um, just f polished off a nice can of cat food. Lord knows that sticks in your teeth. Next tip is reuse mouthwash. Why use mouthwash 30 times when you can use it 60 times and get a nice little decent snack out of it as well, right? There's actually probably more fluid the second time anyways because of the saliva that you're mixing back in there. So really, that's a net positive. I don't want, to, I don't want us to walk away overwhelmed here from this webinar. Uh, <laughs> so I think, you know, let's work on these, these, these six tips for the time being can do this again dude there's plenty more tips out there there's a lot of cheap disgusting human beings out there and we can learn from them all go ahead and hit like subscribe ring the notification bell you'll be notified when i upload leave a comment thanks for hanging out with me guys you can't kill these things you can dance on them